All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're joining me for the first time, thanks for coming by. Today I'm going to do a quick breakdown of the Walter PPKS. Um, <clears throat> PPKS being the stainless model, uh, I'm just going to do a quick down and dirty breakdown, uh, field strip it, we'll take the grips off, and I'll show you how to take the slide apart. So I'm not going to get too much into the history of this gun. Uh, I've got another video where I talk about it a little bit and go to the range. This one is made by Inner Arms. This procedure should be similar for Inner Arms and the new Smith & Wessons. I'm sure it's similar on the older ones. I've just never had my hands on one or the PP model. So <clears throat> without further ado, we get started here. The first thing we're going to do, of course, with any gun, especially this one because I do carry it in my inside the waistband holster here. Yeah, magazine so I'm going to make sure that it is unloaded right. chambers empty I always like to rack it a couple good times sure it's stuck in there so we'll just start off the easiest way to do this gun off safe pull the hammer back and as with most European pistols you're gonna pull the slide back and there's a catch Towards the end here, you're going to find that happy medium where the back of the slide will lift up. At the same time, the trigger the trigger housing here is going to come down. It's uh, spring-loaded. It's got a little pin there. It rotates. That actually releases the slide so that it can come up off the back of the frame. So I'm going to try to do this at the same time on the camera. All right. Trigger guard down. Pull the slide back. Feel the release. Pretty far back, I just felt it let go. There it is. Take your slide off. There's your slide. I'll set it out of the way. Spring. Take that out of the way. And just so you don't, I mean, this doesn't matter if it's forward or down or front or back or whatever. You just don't want to snip your finger in there and get pinched. So we'll just let that fall in. And it is spring loaded. So just take a look at that. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the grips off. Uh, there's a little screw right here, flat head screwdriver on one side. The screw runs all the way through and threads into this side. So first thing I'd recommend, tools you need for this job, a good set of very small screwdrivers. Uh, these cost me a dollar at the local grocery store, and they've got a variety of sizes of Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. I use them all around the house. Outside of automotive repairs, I probably use these screwdrivers more than any others in the house. Battery replacement for kids' toys and things like that. So we're going to take our flathead screwdriver, get the grips off. So uh, take a screwdriver, insert it in there. Lefty loosey, break that loose. All right, so... I'm not sure what these grips, these are obviously plastic grips, some kind of polymer. I don't know, I'm not a chemist. But uh, I'm not sure. I've never seen a World War II era or a really early model PPK. I'd be interested to see if they were actually wood grips or whatnot. If you have an older firearm, especially, especially a World War II era gun or earlier, uh, you want to be really careful on grip screws because some firearms, I'm sure these are pretty readily available, uh, some firearms can be extremely hard to find. So when I'm cleaning this gun, that's one thing that I am sure to do is take the grips off and give them a good wipe down and then wipe the internal components here. There are a lot of guys that will take this the uh, spring out <laughs> and several parts inside the grip I don't get that far into it when I'm cleaning this I wipe everything down go through the bore really well uh, I don't take anything any internals apart uh, the hammer the sear nothing like that I don't take anything out probably should maybe one day when I get a little more adventurous but as for a basic field strip and cleaning for your purposes uh, I'm not going to get too much into that so we got the mostly bare frame here i'm going to set it aside and we will get into the slide next okay next step <clears throat> we're going to take your slide inside here all right slide upside down you look inside here this piece right in the middle in this opening that's your firing pin with a spring wrapped around it and there, this square right here is just it's a, just a feature of the firing pin so when you push it back 
that moves your firing pin and you can see it come out there it protrudes through and that's where it strikes your primer and blah 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 makes the round go off i'm not going to explain ballistics and uh the eight cycle to function in this video but just to give a demonstration so this bar that runs this way that's your safety catch all right there's your safety so the next step is you're going to want to push the firing pin back far enough to where the end of it this little protrusion right here goes inside you want to push it back flip the take the safety and flip it halfway and that's going to prevent the firing pin from being seated correctly now this next part's going to be a little tricky me trying to do it on camera here because it really takes about six hands i'm going to take a uh, my small phillips or if you have a punch you know if you have small punches or something like that it should work just fine all right push the firing pin back and I'm going to try to get a hold of the safety catch right here and I'm going to push it out uh, to my right here to where the uh, actual safety lever is. It's going to come out that way. Now you don't want to release tension on the firing pin because that thing will fly out. Okay, so if this is your first time doing this, I would recommend maybe having the slide pointed downward towards the towel or, well, in my case it's a towel, towards your table or whatever. There's your safety catch. I'm going to set it aside for a second. Still got the firing pin under tension. And I'm going to let it come right out there. Your extractor is the other little spring. There's another little piece right here. That's your extractor plunger. It's got a spring also as well. That should fall out. If it doesn't, we might need to give it a little persuasion. But it should come out, should come out as well. There it is. Alright, so here are your pieces here's your firing pin there's the spring that goes around it like this the way I showed you how it looked in the slide and here's your extractor this extractor fell out I didn't you know too much going on at once I couldn't explain it all at once there's there is where on the side of your frame where it ejects the spent shell there's where your extractor fits and you can see that little round hole inside there round edge on the extractor fits right down in there okay so when we get it back together it's going to be a little tricky in a minute your extractor plunger and spring the way it sits down in the slide the round piece goes in the hole that sounded funny didn't it round piece goes in the hole your uh, extractor plunger should have a little beveled edge right there that sits against this. It doesn't sit perfectly, but that's the way it's going to sit in the gun when you get it back together. So, uh, there's your pieces. So, you can take everything, clean everything up real well. These firing pins. I hear these firing pins are kind of expensive in these guns, even though they're readily available. available so be careful either way you want to be careful with your components i lost a component to a glock one time taking the slide apart and that was my first glock uh i don't remember what it was it was ridiculous maybe the shipping cost more than the part i don't know but you want to be careful with this stuff when you're assembling disassembling or reassembling you want to keep everything in one place be in a controlled area you don't have dogs running around i got a german shepherd over here gnawing on a bone Try to keep him away from anything and try to keep the area in a controlled space here. So at this point, wipe everything down, give everything good cleaning. If you need some help with that, I got a video on uh, rim oil rags or rim oil wipes. Uh, you can check that out. But uh... Okay, next piece in the slide that I'm going to remove here is going to be the loaded chamber indicator. Obviously, it does as the part describes when you have a round in the chamber it presses this little bad boy back right here and you can look on the end of the slide so for quick reference i don't know if i can do this with this tiny it causes that notch right that little pin right there to stick out so you can have a quick reference to know if there's one in the chamber i don't ever use it i assume every gun's loaded like any any responsible firearms and owner should do anyway so <clears throat> I got a Phillips here. I don't know if this is the best tool for the job. So what we're going to do, this pin, all right, your loaded chamber indicator pin, it runs from 
front all the way to back and there's a spring in the middle there's a notch right there so what I'm going to try to do is get this thing back I'm going to try to move the pin back and where it protrudes in the rear portion of the slide I'm going to grab a hold of that and then we're going to pull it and then just unseat it from the front and take it out so enough talking I'm going to switch to the flathead I feel better about that so got the flathead in there in that notch pull it back I'm going to grab the pin at the rear yep there it goes just feel it let go again be careful if you're doing this for the first or first few times you want to get used to it not let any there it goes just pull it out and you got to disengage it from the hole up there all right i don't want it to fly off and land who knows where here it comes it's got a spring around it and the spring's stuck spring the spring has a very unique edge it has a kind of a dog leg sticking out of the end when you reassemble this and we'll show that in a minute you want this facing inward the top of the slide all right so when it goes back in it'll sit, basically sit like this all right so and i'll demonstrate that in just a minute so, that goes on there Let's see, i think it goes this way yeah there we go so you want the and you want the dog leg inside Alright, so we're going to take our uh, loaded chamber indicator with our dog leg facing up towards the top of the slide. I'm going to work it in so that it goes into that hole first, just in reverse order. Alright, so as it comes out, back, grab a hold of it. This is real fun. This gun's clean. This, this would be real fun if this gun had a lot of oil on it or something. Right, so I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to work it up back into that hole inside the chamber. So for that, I'll grab our trusty screwdriver. Alright, let's see, I think it's stuck in the little firing pin she got okay there it goes all right all right she's back in there i got her licked all right so let, uh, let's see i'm going to put the extractor in hole in there first and then i'm going to slide the end of our extractor plunger and extractor spring the hole that it goes in is right there remember this beveled edge needs to rest against the extractor we'll slide that back in there let's so get in that hole may have to go through the other side go through the front I'll go through the front and then we'll put the extractor on the last right. we'll drop it in this way the beveled edge not quite facing the way it needs to go but by the time we get it all back together in the words of the Oracle in the matrix will feel right as rain okay it's back in there let's take our firing pin without that moving too much you'll see a little square indention there the firing pin sits right there with its spring and this can be a little tricky now notice I'm holding my finger here so that the extractor plunger and spring assembly doesn't fall back out now just take a minute, try to get that square assembly. 
camera to focus there. I'm shooting an SD. Right. Try to get the camera to focus on it. Get that little square assembly right in there. I don't know if me struggling with this is making a fool of myself or actually making you guys feel better. I hope that this helps somebody out. Because boy, the first time I disassembled this slide, man, I was sweating bullets. It's almost there, almost had it. And you gotta get it in there just right, or you're not gonna be able to. You gotta hold it back to get the safety catch back on there. Ah, right, there we go. Ah, oh, rats. Had it in there and then it flew out. Let's see if I can drop it in there. That's why you want to be careful when you're handling spring-loaded parts. Alright, so that this doesn't take up the whole video, let me get this firing pin back in here and we'll shut the camera off for a second. I'll go ahead and get the safety in here ready to go. Unless it goes right now. I doubt it will. Spare you some ho hum stuff here. Safety plunger in there. It's a pretty good idea, I guess, to have it in there. All right, we're at half cock. Not half cock, I guess. It's not a single action revolver, but it sounded good at the moment. Safety's halfway. On, off safe. Firing pin seated properly. And now we're gonna get this bad boy seated, and it's turned. The, well, let's see here. Does it turn the wrong way? Nope, it's right. Alright, so we got our plunger in there. Let's take our extractor. And it fell. All I'm gonna do is push the extractor in and let it find that hole. It clicks right into place. Bam. There we go. Man, this camera will not focus for anything. Alright. Alright, slides reassembled. So let's put everything back together in the order we had it. So we'll start with the grips. All right. There's your thread receiving end. The grip takes the really long screw with threads on one end to the right or clockwise as some people like to say. I don't know about you guys, I just if I ever get confused, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Especially if I'm trying to do brakes, taking a caliper off or something. Alright, so <clears throat> here's your spring. I always remember the one one end that's you got a complete circle there, and this one's kind of pokey. Take that and put it back around the barrel. Alright, for the slide, we're gonna reassemble it the same way. We're gonna pull it on here kind of at an angle while pulling the trigger guard down. Pull it all the way back, find our little happy place, and it should engage properly. Pull our trigger guard down. Alright. Got the barrel in there. Pull it all the way back. And there it goes. Clicks. 
if you don't get it on the first time, just keep trying a couple of times. Eventually you'll get it. Believe me, I've had plenty of struggles. Do a functions check. And you, my friend, are good to go. So, thanks for coming by. I hope this helps some people out. I hope it's not too obvious. I'm sure some people are watching this and thinking, wow. This is the 800th video about Walters on YouTube. Can't you think of anything else? Well, not tonight, my friends. So I hope this helps somebody out. hope it uh, makes things easier for you. So, again, I'm not going to get into the history. I got another video about taking it to the range. So, throw me a like if you liked it. Uh, dislike if you didn't like it. And uh, if you really like it, shoot me a subscribe. It really helps out the channel. So, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next one.